My name is Nefer Freeman. I'm the events coordinator at the Institute for Policy Studies. And I also do a little bit of policy analysis around things related to the movement for black lives in Cuba, U.S. Cuba policy. Um, so my role here at IPS as the events coordinator and within those things is to, um, given the, uh, the situation or the new situation with a new president, presidential administration, is to um, uh, lift up the analysis that comes from that. Let's reflect on things and, and find out exactly what what happened, why did it occur, and what we can learn uh, in order to move forward in, more, in a more progressive way. And so we seek to have events and stuff like that that reflect uh, our allies and core people that we work with and their understanding. Outside of IPS, uh, with a number of organizations and affiliations, Pan-African Community Action is looking at uh, a Pan-African lens in a very localized way. So from the local to the international with African people and where community action is actually can be something that uh, uplifts us in this uh, new time of the administration. It didn't matter which president won, we would have to be organizing uh, for our own human rights in this country and everywhere else and, and in DC. I also um, am co-host of a, um, a radio show, Voices with Vision, that airs on the Pacifica Network in DC, WPFW. And we uh, put out things that have to do with all forms of social justice rights from the local, national to international level as well. And, and we do it creatively, mixing news, news spoken word, um, commentary. I'm also affiliated with the International Campaign for Justice and Dignity, which used to be the International Campaign for the Freedom, freedom of the Cuban Five. And we're now, we're focused on uh, U.S. policy toward Cuba and lifting the blockade, which now under this new administration is likely to face some changes away from what Obama administration started in normalizing relations.